cool Python question that I got from a debater or reader. So what techniques do experienced Python developers use versus inexperienced ones? Um, Really interesting question. So that's why I wanted to tackle it in this YouTube video. Um, so some of my thoughts here. I think there are some differences in how an experienced developer approaches writing code versus an inexperienced one. And a lot of it has to do with, um, I think, with an intuition about um, how to tackle the problem. Once you've been programming for a while, you know, once you've tack like once you've worked on many um, programming problems, and you've written and shipped real world application, you kind of get this intuitive sense of um, how you might want to tackle a specific problem. So you you sort of develop these heuristics that will help you to be more productive than an inexperienced developer. And some of it has to do with just being more skilled at, um, you know, maybe pacing yourself and having a better project management management skills so you know you know you know how to solve the ultimate goal at hand and you kind of know how to work towards that and how to lay the foundation um, so for example what i've seen is that it's very easy for beginners to paint themselves into a corner you know maybe you solve the immediate problem at hand but you do it in a way that means you can't solve the next two or three problems that an experienced developer might see already coming down the pike um, you you kind of have a harder time solving those and that's what compounds and slows you down over time you know i know super abstract example but it's kind of hard to point to really concrete things so it's more um a more an intuition and an experience thing uh, but i also want to point out some concrete things that that you can actually you know work on instead of just saying like oh you just got to write more code so another thing is that experienced developers are usually better at debugging so they have experience using the the tools they need for uh, for debugging their prob their programs, or you know, maybe they're just more experienced at um, again having an intuition of how to debug a program. But in general, I in my experience, many uh, inexperienced developers and new developers they overlook the power of debugging and building up building it up as a skill. You know, because you you almost want to approach it like a like scientific research, right? You want to have sort of a theory at hand, and then and then look for for evidence whether or not um, what you're what you're trying the problem you're trying to solve is actually like the real underlying issue. And I found that um, a lot of beginners are struggling with that kind of mindset. And if you know if if something unexpected happens, then it's it's very easy for them to to get stuck and and kind of not know um, where where to go and where where to look for. For help and how to debug their program. Um, I think another thing is that an experienced developer just has strategies that um, that they can use to solve most problems that they encounter. You know, they either they know how who to reach out to, who to ask personally for help. They know how to Google for stuff, which is probably the most important skill, honestly. You know, they know how to turn the problem that they're facing, how to turn it into keywords and what to type into a search engine in order to get an answer um, for the problem that they're working on. And again, that's, you know, that's a super useful skill these days because that is how most programming work is done, right? You're not just sitting in a, in a vacuum there and you're writing everything from scratch. Like, no, you know, professional developers Google for stuff all the time. They search for stuff. They look up stuff on Stack Overflow. Maybe they ask their friends. Maybe they're part of some community where they can ask questions. And um, you can, of course, if you're working with a company, you can just always tap someone on the shoulder and be like, hey, you know, I know you have a lot of experience like working with this kind of problem. You can you just sit with me and, and we'll, we'll try and tackle this? So it's, it's also a matter about knowing how to help themselves, I think. Um, let's see, I can't really think about anything anything else here. But um, all of these things are things that, that come with experience. And um, they, they're usually not things you can just teach yourself by reading a book you know they're more like meta skills if if you will so the best way to learn is to work with an experienced developer and to kind of have that color off on you all right if you have another python question then leave a comment below and i'll try and tackle it in one of my next videos if you like this video then uh well please click the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel